It is race day number two. Let's see if we can get in here. Eh. Didn't open the... But we've got the 200 free, which I will be actually doing the 50 free inside of it. And we've got the 100 fly, which is like the actual focus event for the day. Um, so I'm pretty stoked on that. Just slingshotted my mask. We're on our way to Denny's. Um, this is kind of the routine. We've been doing this the whole week is we have breakfast either at Denny's or Cracker Barrel. And then lunch and dinner have always been Chipotle. No good, that for good. <laughs> Same parking spot, like clockwork. Not superstitious, just a little stitious. I'm gonna do the All American again. I'm gonna do All American. Uh, no cheese. Wheat on the toast. Eggs. Wheat toast. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. There's nothing, right? No, definitely. Okay. Yeah. Appreciate it. I'll be right there. So you guys notice I get the same meal. Um, the reason is we're trying to mimic what we do at home. It's like breakfast, bacon, eggs. Um, it's scrambled, which is super chill. I love scrambled eggs. Um, we do have a little bit of toast, so it's more carbs, but the reason I'm able to do that is one, it tastes nice, and two, we're racing, so my body burns it all up anyway. Um, and another important part is, of course, coffee to get the day started. So. We're gonna chow down on this and then head to the pool, warm up, and get on our way for the first race. Thank you, Shelly. You're the sweetest. Um, we'll see you tomorrow morning. So, she's just super nice. She's been very friendly. She knows our order already. Very quick. Now we're off to the pool. We'll be there in like a minute. So just around the corner. Um, quick fun fact. So this pool we're racing in, it's the Bill Walker Natatorium connected to the Josh Davis Natatorium. And uh, in 2013, I swam one of my very first pro meets in this pool with Josh. So I just had recently become friends with Josh. He invited me out. I was 14 years old and we swam at this, uh, this shootout meet called the Fastest Man in Texas. Um, it was the first time I met Nathan Adrian. He ended up winning the event. You know, Josh Schneider was there, Jimmy Fegan. Ian Crocker was racing, Josh himself was racing. So a lot of greats in the sport. Um, and that's kind of where where a lot of this kind of started. It was pretty cool. Um, and now being, what, seven seven years? No, eight years almost. I think seven years. Yeah, seven or so years later, coming back to the pool. Um, it's fun. I mean, it's not the nicest long course pool. The short course pool is nice, yeah. but <laughs> long course pool is like eh. Very shallow on one end, lots of markings on the pool. Um, and a little bit of a, some currents in some of the lanes. But you know what, it's an opportunity to race, an opportunity to learn, and to really put our strategy to the test, which is huge. Because like I had mentioned before, we've only got two more racing opportunities after this before Olympic trials. So time is ticking quickly. If I can split under 22 in my 50 free, I will finish the rest of the 200 so it counts as an official time. And if not, I'll probably just get out. So, at the 100 maybe. Because I don't have to walk out all the way back. <laughs> but yeah, I would hate to get out in a race. It's, I don't know. I don't think I've ever gotten out in the middle of a race. Yeah, we have, where we um, did that way, and they were upset with us because you. Uh, no, no, that was a false start. Oh, like, yeah, we false started. I like, that was in <laughs> Iowa. I like intentionally false started because I didn't want to swim the 200 IM. That was the dumbest thing I'd ever done. And then Did you hear something from the tracker? 
My, what's that? Is that the, the AM, PM? Yes, I, I did the morning one, yeah. Thank you. Documenting everything. Everything. Someone's gotta do it. <laughs> this is the warm up, warm down pool. Um, this is actually the pool we raced fastest man in Texas in, not the long course pool, which is where we're gonna be racing today and throughout this uh, week. So we've just been basically camping in here because it's way nicer. We're away from all the people in the big long course pool. And you've got a full lane to yourself when it comes time to warm up, warm down. Um, so I'm gonna get to it. I'm gonna start doing some activation, get ready. And then I'll uh, head over and swim in the long course pool before they close it. I have not swum a 200 free long course in, gee, how many years? It's been forever. I don't even know what my best time is too free. I'm more nervous for the last 150 meters than I am the first 50. Even though the first 50 I still have to do no breath in under 22 seconds. So yeah. The trick is gonna be not like clamoring to try and find the wall and lifting my head and stuff. I gotta keep the head down. And that's what, that's kind of the challenge now with the pool being so shallow is can I sprint and speed up into the wall without lifting. I'm not going to do another in-water warm-up. I'm just going to stay up on, on dry land, dress warmly, and do a lot of deep breathing because, you know, I haven't swum a 50 long course, no breath, in a while, really a year, and so I want to make sure that my lungs are ready for it. And then we're just going to gun it and then see if the time is good and potentially finish the 200. If not, get out the 100. It was a 22.17, so pretty good time, um, but it wasn't under 22, so I decided to just hop out at the 100. I, I do kind of regret it. I feel like it probably would have been better had I just swum through the whole 200, finished it. Um, I wouldn't have delayed the meet. I probably could have actually not even come last. last. Um, but we're done. I'm gonna warm down, get ready, and we got like an hour and a bit to the 100 fly. You ready? Maxine oh and I gosh. got 100 fly I'm coming up. <laughs> so, okay, so what, what's the morning plan? What are we going for? Dude, just just, just make finals, strategy. just like chill? Oh, for sure, we always make finals, mm -hmm. uh, but right now just testing out different race strategies. Yeah. Uh, awesome. Especially with where the, where the body's at. Yeah, so. I feel that. Yeah. That's smart, smart Dude. man. Woo. I'm on the vlog! <laughs> it's gonna be a solid morning, so. Good pitch, by the way. Thank you, appreciate it. Yeah, I was like, I, I didn't want to swim the rest of that 200. Yeah, I, saw, I saw my dad waving at the end. He's like, nah, just get out. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna go the heat in front of Maxime and then Maxime's gonna crush the heat following. So we'll see you guys after the race. I think the biggest thing I noticed in my hunter fly dad is I never used my legs. Yeah. My, my legs were, I just kind of dragged them behind me. I almost swam that whole fly, what felt like yeah. pull. Well, you know, there that, wasn't a big underwater. I tell you're not using your legs on the underwater off the wall. That was terrible because you were like, a, you went in first, you're out like third because the yeah. guys, you did two strokes before they even came up. It's right. very bad. So tonight, my only focus and goal is matching the leg power with the arms um, so I don't want my arms to be working separately uh, I want it to all kind of work together and then we see if we can get under 52 if we can be like 51 mid would be amazing um, even if we're low 52 would be good because this pool is really odd like even I was speaking with Maxime and Maxime swam a 52 6 
in the Austin pool and he's like, yeah, because the Austin pool is fast. You can do that anytime. Yeah. He said this pool, it just, you can feel it in the water. It feels really odd. It feels slow. So we're working on strategy. And then, yeah, the nice open shot and then the... Yeah. Put power dot on my legs and recover because I'm gonna need it. And then um, also try and get a nap in like from 2.30 to 4.30. But I only raced at what, eight tonight? Yeah, eight. So, we got plenty of time to do some good recovery and just chill. It's very disrespectful. It's glorious. Elevator is so slow. Ridiculous. So <sighs> no, I was like standing there for what felt like an eternity. Just pressing the button. I'm gonna try out the Phantom and see how that fits my body. See if it works in my, my butt a little better. Um, apparently the Phantom's got a little more give in the legs as well, which will be good because I gotta, gotta increase that leg drive. Glow. Yeah, I'm trying to not fall on this or get my shoes all dirty. <laughs> Can't get the shoes all dirty. I'm gonna try the Phantom tonight. So this is the Tier Benzo Phantom going 26. We're gonna see if it allows a little more movement in the legs um, and squeezes the butt nicely. Just to try something new. We got the suit on. It was pretty good. What I noticed is there's more, see that bend here, Dad? There's more like space here because the legs have a little more movement, which is nice because it's, it's cool. like a lot of flexion. But everything else, it's nice and tight. Should be good. Suited up, ready to go. Hunter fly up in like 30 minutes. We just finished the race. It was much better this morning, 52.5. Um, speaking to Reagan's coach, Reagan crushed her hunter fly. Nice hunter fly, Reagan. Um, but what, what we noticed, what Coach Mike noticed, is my last like five meters, I lifted my head, breathed into the wall. I could have definitely won that race. So, good swim for Tom. Proper race strategy. Very good, it's all here. And uh, now the big thing is, so I came second. Uh, you know, hydrate up. I actually have a drug test, so as part of being a pro, is you get randomly selected uh, here at the Pro Series at least once throughout the meet, and so it's nice my lucky night. I'm not gonna be able to film this part because it is drug test time. Are we going in here? No, I won't. I won't. Yeah, I'm telling him. Um, I just vlog, so I document. But so we're not filming inside here. But I'm gonna go do drug tests, and then I'll speak to you guys about the races afterwards. The last four strokes I was. I was like just cramming to get to the wall. Sucking air. So I was thinking, oh man, if I just breathe every, I can like yeah. spin and get in front of Tom, but. You were. Congrats Tom him. on the win. Yeah, that's, yeah. That was a good race. I mean, better swam, but I actually ended up coming back the exact same as I did this morning, but I went out half a second faster. Lots to work on still, lots to learn from. Um, I mean, it's like a second and a half off of my best still, but it's all good. Tomorrow is another day, and we've got the 200 IM tomorrow. So I'm not gonna vlog that. I'm gonna end the vlog here, but 
You guys can watch this race and let me know what you think down below. Just rip me apart, I dare you. And uh, yeah, it's been kind of a, a fun, you know, the meet's almost over. Been learning a lot. Um, but I think the biggest takeaway is I, I do feel strong in the water. I feel like I'm finishing races well. Um, and that helps me confidently, like, or just kind of build some confidence off of the last couple weeks of training because, you know, we finally have some consistency and it's been really nice to, to get in. You know, I'm used to racing every weekend or every other weekend and gauging where I'm at in a season, but having not raced long course in over a year, it's just, it's good to feel like I'm there. Uh, I'll see you in the next vlog. You guys are the best. Cheers.